we shall resume. So the good news is we're at the end of the log chapter. We'll be doing trigonometry uh, next. But to finish the chapter, unfortunately, we have to look at practical problems, word-based problems. So what I'll do, uh, I'll do a couple of examples here. So just to be clear, your homework will be to finish uh, page 56. So, yeah, but I'm going to do some now. So, <laughs> let me start with question one. The temperature theta of a cup of coffee is given by the formula theta temperature equals 27 plus K E minus 0 0.2 T. Right? The initial temperature is 65. What's K? So I know at the beginning the temperature is 65. So what, what do I sub in here? 65 for what? Theta. theta. And for T? Why? Yeah, it's initial start. Yeah? So you get K equals 38. And so now you have theta equals 27 plus 38 E minus 0 0.2 T. Part B. Calculate how long it takes for the temperature to drop to 35. So I want to figure out when will the temperature be 35. So what's the theta? 35. And what's the T? We don't know. That's what we want to know. So what should I do to solve this? Yeah, I'll bring the 27 to the left. 35 minus 27 is 8, isn't it? Isn't it? 8 equals 38 e minus 0 0.2 t. Next, I'll divide by 38. What's 8 divided by 38, please, uh, Rahman? 0 0.21. One more, please. 211. 211. Yeah. Equals e minus 0 0.2 t. Now, what do I do next? Ln. Ln here. Ln here. What happens here? They cancel. So you're left with Ln 0.211 equals minus 0.2t. What do I do next? Divide by minus 0.2. And now I've got my t. t equals 8 to the nearest minute. Got that? Not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. I'll do. Don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll do six and seven next. Three? Three's easy. I can do three. I'll do three, six, seven.
carry cutter. Yeah. Okay, I'll do three next. Yes? Okay. A town consumes 12 megawatts a day, 12 units of energy in 2013, and then consumes 13 uh, a year later. What is the formula for the uh, the power it consumes the energy? Well, we'll, ju we'll just say E equals, so I tell you it's an exponential, so that means it's like this, A, E, B, T. And we need to find the A and the B. Okay, and we know two things. We know that when T equals zero, E equals 12. And when T equals one year, well, do we want to use, we'll use days. When T <laughs> equals 365 days, mm -hmm. E equals, I said 13. 13. Let's put the first piece in. I have 12 equals A, E zero. So what's A? 12. 12. Now let's put the second piece in. E, which is 13, equals A, which is 12, E, which is E, B, which we don't know, and T, which is? Oh, sorry, uh, 365, yeah. 365, sorry, I wrote it there. Okay, what do I do next? Divide by 12, next. LN, next. So after all that, I now have the B. What's the B? It is, I believe, quite small, 0 0.000219. Yeah. So look, this is what we have for part A. Energy is equal to 12E 0.000219T in days. Okay, we'll do the B part now when you're ready. Can I scroll down? Yes, no? No. continue mm -hmm. the next part is model the energy of the town to be linear yeah. so now that says e equals a plus b t that's linear relationship okay once again when the uh, t is zero the e is 12 and when the e is uh, when the T is 365, the E is 13. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if I sub this in, 
I get 12 equals a plus 0, so a is 12 again. And if I sub this in, I get 13 equals 12 plus 365b. So that means b will be uh, one, one, yeah, a small number, 0 0.00274. Little arrow there. So now I have E equals 12 plus 0 0.00274 T. So that's the second possibility. Uh, that's the second part, I mean. Which do you think is the better model if we say energy is exponential or if we say energy is linear exponential. yeah why yeah why usually people's growth yeah is exponential rather than linear okay C what would be the difference in the two models if they were used to predict energy in uh, another year? So um, I want you to take this model mm -hmm. and then take, where's the other one gone? This model. And then to sub in T is two years, two times 365. What's that? 730? Is it? So put 730 into these two models and see how different or how similar they are. I think the difference, if you want to calculate it, is quite small. Which will be bigger, the exponential or the linear? Yeah. yeah. Very rapid. Okay. Got that? Yeah. Let's do question six now. Six. As an example, the radioactive decay of carbon fourteen is exponential with a half life of five thousand seven hundred and thirty years. This is number six. Have you all heard of oh, what's the phone? phone. Okay. Well, now, are we listening? Have you all heard of carbon-14 or not? No. No? Some of you have, some of you haven't? Yeah, the time, for time, yes. Carbon-14, C-14. What is it used for? Yeah, it's an isotope, correct, yeah? Carbon dating, yeah. To measure how old something is. That type of stuff, yeah. The way carbon-14 works is at the beginning, when something dies, it has 100% of its carbon-14 it should have. Mm -hmm. Then over time, the carbon-14 decreases like this. If I put it as a percentage, and it starts off at 100, and this is when it, it died, it decreases exponentially okay so imagine you have a tree you cut the tree down use the tree to make some paper you can tell how old the paper is because as soon as the tree dies then you make the paper and the carbon 14 starts to decrease okay 
So if I was to measure the carbon-14 in this book, I could tell when the <coughs> tree died to make the paper by how much carbon-14 is left. Okay, so for example, this paper is probably one year old, but I didn't make the paper. So maybe it was in storage for another year. So maybe the tree that made this paper died two years ago, and I can measure the carbon-14. So it takes a long time for carbon-14 to reduce. In fact, it takes 5,730 years for it to reduce by half, by 50%. Mm -hmm. okay. A quantity of carbon-14... Yeah, uh, okay. And then after another 5,730 years, there's 25% left. Okay, so the Dead Sea Scrolls were found to have 79.5% of their carbon-14 left. Estimate the age of the scrolls. So our formula is, uh, I'll write C for carbon, or, or maybe percent C for percent carbon-14, equals A, E, B, T, exponential. Okay. When T is zero, what percent of the carbon do we have? We have the 100 percent. Okay? And then when T is 5730, what percent of the carbon do we have now? 50 percent. Yeah? If I put this in here, I can quickly get the A. You can figure it out. What's the A? It's 100, isn't it? Because you get 100% equals A, E, 0. So the A is 100%. Okay. Now I'll put the second one in. 50% equals 100% E power 5730B. Right, what do I do now? Divide by 100. 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5 five. equals E5730. B. What do I do next? E. Yep. Cancel, cancel. Next. And what do I get for my B? What do I get for B? <coughs> Should be small. <coughs> Minus 1.21. Yeah. So it's minus 0 0.000121. So now you have percent carbon equals 100% mm -hmm. times e power minus 0 0.000121 t. Okay, back to the question. How much carbon do I have in my scrolls? So I have 79.5 equals 100 e minus 0 point blah 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 t. Okay, what do I do now? Come on. What the heck? I'm oh, sorry. Divide by 100. So I get 0 0.795 equals E power minus 0 0.000121 T. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. Now I want the answer to two significant figures. So the answer to two significant years.
Okay, you got that? Okay, no. Continue? <coughs> yes, no? Question? Yeah? Well, I know everything. It's because I tell you in the question it decays exponentially. That's because I tell you it's linear. Do you see? Do you have it there? Model the energy of the town to be linear. Model the energy of the town to be exponential. That's the difference. Okay, can I scroll down? I'll give you one to try. Something from chemistry. <coughs> pH. Mm -hmm. Is defined as minus log base 10, the concentration of positive hydrogen atoms. Okay. A 200 milliliter glass of orange juice has a pH of 3.5. How many H plus ions, they're, they're called ions, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. 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 Are in <coughs> the glass. Right. Have you done pH? No. <coughs> okay. Well, you don't need to, uh, because I gave you the formula here. Okay. Do you know what the pH value is? Yeah. So can you get the concentration? Well, by the way, what is the definition of concentration? What's the unit for concentration? Molarity. And what is molarity? Moles per... Moles per... Yeah, which is what unit? Moles per... Moles per litre, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I thought it's moles per liter, no? Is decimeters cubed? How many decimeters are in a meter cubed? Yeah. But a decimeter is the same as a liter, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay, try this for a minute. Rahman yesterday. Did you get your yeah. problem sorted? Yeah, yeah. What was it? Accommodation? Yeah, I need I need to book that. The accommodation. I'll be on job in it. Oh, where are you booking it? Cork. Cork? Yeah, for next year. Oh, for next year? You have to go down to Cork yeah. yesterday to book it? No, 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 no. Online then. Oh, yeah, okay. You wanted to book it online yeah, as soon as it opened. Yeah. yeah, I get you. So why are you going to count the class? Because he wanted yeah. to be at the computer, ready to book at 9 o'clock exactly. Yeah? <laughs> and did yeah. you get it? Yeah. Good, okay, good. <laughs> right, so who am I missing? Do I
got it, me? How many are there? Minus four? Sounds small. Uh, let's have a look. So look, the pH is 3.5, right? Yeah. So that's equal to minus log base 10 H plus. Yes? Okay. So that yeah. means, Ten. I'll take the minus to the left. Ten. 10 to the power of minus 3.5 equals H, H plus. <coughs> yeah? Ten. Now I didn't want H plus. This, uh, this is the constant, well, what is this? This is uh, 0. Point Ten to the power three one six. That's what you got. Yeah. Okay, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted how many. So this is zero point zero 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 three one six moles per liter. How many liters do I have? Zero point two. So therefore, uh, n equals 0 0.2 times 0 0.000316 moles. But do I want the moles? No. I want the number. So uh, what is Avogadro here? 6.02, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I wanted me. Yeah. So, uh, 3.8 H plus ions. <coughs> That's how many H plus ions are in our glass of orange juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you write that down? Mm. Yeah, you all got that? What are you doing in chemistry at the moment? Oh, malarity. Malarity. Yeah. A malarity. Okay. Now, um, so I don't forget to tell you, this week we're going to have to start working on the physics essay. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's tough. So I'll give you the information on Friday. Okay. And then you have until the end of the semester uh, to write it. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, no, it's not okay. It's very, very difficult. I think it's something like this. Say again? Experiment? No, it's essay. I'll tell you on Friday. Oh my god. I don't have any choice in the matter. This is part of the syllabus. They make me do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> because I don't what's, think a physics essay point? is really that interesting of a thing to do. Is it really but interesting? But that's not. <laughs> it's really point? not. Now who's this? Uh, ah, yeah. get out. Okay. You're way too late. What are you talking about, man? There's eight minutes uh, left. What are you doing coming here? What? 
Ah, uh, the leap card again? You already used. Oh, dip. Okay. Both of you just have a uh, ten minutes in the. We, in are, the we, don't, we, don't have <laughs> we only have eight minutes left. No, no. Go to your next class. No, we don't have a next class in the morning. We don't. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you next class. Next class, Tommy. Like, what's the point of the F you would think with all the trouble he has with his leap card, he would carry cash with him. Right, uh, the essay, what are you asking me? What's the point of it? What's the point in anything, you know? No, I don't mean sound funny, but like, yeah. there's a syllabus, you follow the syllabus, yeah. you get assessed, and you get your grades hopefully to go to university. Yeah, I get, but yeah. like... No, no, but like, uh, I mean, I don't want to seem weird, but yeah. like... What is the point in doing this or doing that, you know? This is just what they want. Give them what they want. Get the grades you need. Yeah. Go to university. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, just by me. So, I'm not so focused on the EAP as much as the content. I have some handouts to help you write it. Don't worry. Yeah. I recommend breaking your job into stages and you can email me during the process to have me check the stage you wrote. So for example, I think I recommend that you start by first writing the main body, mm -hmm. then the introduction, then the conclusion. So I give you guidelines, I break it down into like four or five right. tasks. Each time you complete a task, you can email me. For feedback, you know, when you write your introduction or whatever, you can email me. Do you understand? You know, so. I want to give class time to it, but I just don't have the time to give, because I mean, it's tight. You know, yeah. there's only like three weeks left. I have to, I have to make sure I cover all the topics. I suppose you just don't focus on the exam. It's tight, man. It's really, really tight. I think um, you just want to do the essay when you can, but we need to focus more on the exam. Because, look, at the end of the day, the final exam includes both semester one and two. So we need to make sure we get everything covered. Whereas the essay is only 10%. So who does the exam paper? You I don't do the exam paper. Manchester does. So this is why I have to make sure I get everything covered. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry yet. Okay. Can you try these for five minutes? Teacher, for I see can, can after the exam do that. Uh, after, the, after the exam, maybe we have an extra time. Before the exam, we are uh, focused on the exam. It's right. Guys, guys, when... Someone has an idea... Okay, I, I'm fine with this idea, but I would need to check with ne uh, Neil as your... Yeah, how about this is uh, no, after the exam? I know what you're saying, just listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> I need to check with Neil uh -huh. if this is okay to do. Okay. Uh, that you submit the essay after the exams. Well, yeah, I mean, you can submit it before. I'll have an open window. Do you know what I mean? You submit on Moodle, and I'll maybe I'll make an open window from the end of the semester one to the start of semester two. I'll make this like week, like a window where you can submit at any time in this week. Would that sound like a, a good idea? It gives you a full week of a window. Do you know what I mean? To submit, yeah? Anyways, I'll I'll talk to Neil about it too. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of time. It's a difficult program, you know. Yeah. Difficult program. And I still have any coursework for mathematics. Or? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we can't. It's this semester, although we'll probably end up doing it at the start of the next semester, because the reason is the topic in the coursework is calculus. And this is so stupid because they said, 
here's the coursework for semester one, but the topic that they gave was the last topic in semester one. So you have to wait until semester one is finished before you do the <laughs> semester one topic. You, you know, it's badly designed. Uh, so Peter, we probably will begin at the semester one on day one of semester two, and then you have two weeks to write it. Now the maths is very straightforward. It's much easier than the physics. Like for the September students, I think the lowest grade I gave anyone in the maths coursework was 80%. What? Yeah. Now, this is not true for the physics essay, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the, 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 lowest, the lowest physics essay mark I gave was 40%. Oh, the physics is harder. Yeah. Harder, yeah. you know. Huh? The highest. the highest was maybe 70. Wow. So not is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's difficult. Okay. <laughs> look, okay, look. Um, there's many things to worry about. Just, we'll worry about one thing at a time. So right now, my top priority is getting everything finished. Mm -hmm. Then we'll talk about the essay uh, on Friday. Okay, I'll give you the topic you have to write about on Friday. Peter, I think okay. I need a printer or just uh, need 